What's going on guys? This is Tony with Urban Girl Scout Media coming to you today to do another edition of our Replacing the Monthly Crate series. Uh, this is our second one, maybe third one, I don't know. Um, I started it shortly after a massively disappointing uh, run of crates with Loot Crate. And then I was going to sign for another uh, another monthly subscription, but I actually thought it would be fun to maybe go out on the hunt and try and find things. So um, this month, or this episode rather, is going to be a few months kind of piled together, mainly because I knew I was coming up on a vacation, uh, birthday was coming up, things like that. So I wanted to kind of take an opportunity to um, get as much time in to look at different places as possible. So without any further waiting, let's go ahead and jump right into it here with some of the finds that we have for Replace the Crate. So first thing is a four part mini comic book series called Weird War Tales and uh, found this uh, in Michigan at a very lovely antique store that had a brewery attached to it. I want to say in Saugatuck, Michigan. Um, antique Alley, I believe is what it's called. Amazing store, great staff. Um, some big things coming up here in the future for, for us personally that they were a big part of, so we thank them. To the stories though, I haven't had a chance to read them. Um, my buddy Little T came out with us and he was looking at them and said they look very cool. So just a four part series. I didn't even pay 10 bucks for the entire thing. Um, and I'm kind of excited because I got to get the entire collection in one swoop. Alright and then next the other thing I got from this store was of course with a uh, little introduction needed. The Beatles. Sgt. Pepper's only Hearts Club band. Um, great record. Paid five bucks or six bucks excuse me. Paid six bucks for this, um, really happy, decent quality, uh, it was just a steal, I mean, how do you pass it up? So even if the record didn't work to have, you know, just that piece of art sitting on the wall, I felt was, was well worth it. So, two great finds from Enchantment Alley in uh, Saugatuck, Michigan. So the other record I got while in Michigan from uh, Phoenix Records in New ha uh, South Haven, sorry, or South Beach, Somewhere like that, New Haven, South Beach, some, some crap like that. But this is Crimson Tide uh, in the Court of the Cr Crimson King. This is one of my absolute favorite albums. I was actually listening to it right before I made this. Um, just love this album. It's very experimental. Um, a lot of things that I like to do musically, I, I think I can draw back to this. Things that are a bit more experimental. This is definitely an album that um, it changed my musical perception, I guess. Not to have like this huge hippie moment, but this really is just an amazing album. And the artwork, you know, you may be a little freaked out. It's a great, it's great artwork. I mean, it's just, take the chance, find the album and listen to it. You will not be disappointed. All right, so sticking with the record theme, uh, you see I've got this kind of cheesy looking Pac-Man record I took a picture of. Um, the first side here, I'll show you the other side in just a moment. I want to stress, I have no intention of trying to play this. I think the artwork on it alone makes it something just cool to hang on the wall. And that's really what I intend on doing, maybe getting a frame for it at some point. I found this at a local store, uh, at the Champagne area. Um, I can't remember the name exactly, it escapes me, but I just, I thought this was really unique. And then you see the other side here, just the kiddos and every, the kiddo and everything dancing away. I thought it was really cool. You guys are going to see it on the wall um, in future videos where I'm, you know, in front of the camera where we're doing stuff on screen. Uh, you'll definitely be able to catch this in the background. Something I truly enjoyed uh, when I saw it. I just couldn't pass it up. All right. And last but not least, you get a pin with each crate you buy uh, for monthly subscriptions. I thought I was kind of going with a retro theme, so I thought I would do something kind of cool in that regard. So I ordered this uh, pin off of the Wish app. It's Hey Arnold, of course. Um... And just kind of to, to commemorate the, the retro theme crate. So that um, that in itself, I mean, come on. If that's not cool, I don't know I don't know what to tell you. And it only cost me two bucks. All right, so that does it. Uh, I didn't give the price of the Pac-Man vinyl. It was uh, 10 bucks, And then the Crimson King vinyl was uh, 20 bucks. So altogether, I spent under $40 for this entire experience. Um, which is about what I would have spent in a two month time span with most crates, if not a little bit more, a little bit less, just off by a few bucks. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know if I'll do this as a monthly thing or maybe every two or three months, just kind of depends on what's going on. 
Summer is a good time for garage sales, good time for flea markets. Uh, you, even some of the students in, in your campuses are moving out, so they want to get rid of some of that stuff they don't want to take with them. So who knows? Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, my name's Tony, living the dream, of course, and this is Urban Girl Scout Media doing Replace the Crate. Bye.